come to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to be uh, solving or rather finding the derivatives of lean functions so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so and uh, click the notification button there as well and if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these lines or you need help in mathematics feel free to contact me then we'll see how we're going to help each other okay so uh, these are straightforward questions and I'm sure I'm not going to take long to solve them. Yeah, so if you need um, other tutorial videos on how to use the product rule, the quotient rule and change rule, you can inbox me, you can contact me on WhatsApp, I'll give you. And if you want to join the WhatsApp group uh, where I post these videos, feel free to contact me, then I'll add you to the group. Alright, so let's take a look at um, this question question says find the derivative of the function okay so the first thing you need to understand if you have a function f of x uh, let's say which is equal to uh, u to find the derivative uh, rather let me say in u to find the derivative of this function uh, this, uh, this, is, this has to be an absolute value symbols okay to find the derivative of this function you always just have to say uh, so in other in other ways I'm trying to say to find f prime of x you always just have to find the derivative of the function u which is just u prime and then you divide it by the original function which is u so let us try to apply this principle to what we have there so the first question which is a is f of x is equal to the lean the lean of 3x so the lean of 3x how do we differentiate this so remember what I said, the value of u in this case is equal to um, what is there. So let us, we have u which is equal to uh, what is in the brackets there. So it, we have u which is equal to 3x. So to find u prime, u prime is simply just equal to 3. When you differentiate 3x, you're getting 3. So uh, to find now the derivative of uh, this function, we say f prime of x would therefore be equal to um, f prime of x would therefore be equal to we said u prime over u so our u prime is simply just 3 and then uh, our u prime is simply just 3 and then we divide everything by the original function which is u so we divide everything by 3x and our f prime of x becomes 1 over 3 uh, rather 1 over x because this, this 3 and that 3 will cancel. Let's also look at the other question. We have this one, which is f of x is equal to the lean of x minus 1. So we do the same even for this function. So we just differentiate what is in the brackets there. Then um, we divide by the original function. So differentiating what is in the brackets there, we're getting the derivative of x will give us 1, the, de the derivative of 1, the answer is simply just 0. So we just have 1 uh, plus 0, or 1 minus 0 is just the same. Then everything divided by the original function, so the original function is simply just x minus 1, meaning f prime of x becomes 1 over x minus 1. Let's quickly look at the next question. The next question is this one. So we have g of x is equal to the lean of x squared so even this one we differentiate what is there to find g prime of x so we differentiate what is there what is in the brackets there we get um when you differentiate x squared you're getting 2x then we divide divide everything by the original function which is x squared so simplifying this will give us um x there one and then x there will also cancel on x, so we have 2 over x as the solution. And then we also move on to h of x is equal to that. So we have h of x is equal to uh, the lean of 2x squared plus 1. So this is also straightforward. To find h prime of x, which is the derivative of x, the answer is simply just going to be found by differentiating what is in the brackets there. We're getting 4x plus 0 
then everything divided by because when you differentiate this part you're getting 4x differentiate 1 you're getting 0 then everything divided by the original function which is 2x squared plus 1 so h prime of x will simply just be equal to uh, this will give us 4x and then everything divided by 2x squared plus 1 this is how you differentiate so it's not something that is uh, very difficult this is very simple so I'll solve even maybe the other three questions because there are a few questions on this question I think I can solve all of them but I think I was supposed to leave one for it to solve as well So we solve this one. We have y is equal to the lean of x, then we have to the power 4. So this one is a bit different from these other questions, but we solve it in a similar way. So for this one, we're going to use Chen's rule because this is a composite function. In this function, we have two functions. The first function we have is going to be, uh, we're going to say let u uh, be equal to lean x this is the, the the first function we have then the second function we have is y is equal to um uh while there's lean x we are going to replace with what with u so this will be u to the power four so this one we find du dx so du dx for this function will give us um du dx for this function will give us we differentiate x there the answer is 1 and then divide by the original function which is x so du dx will give us 1 over x then for this other one dy du will simply just give us uh, 4 4 times 1 there will give us 4 and then we say u to the power 4 minus 1 the answer will be 3 so uh, this uh, solution we replace back the value of u there so this will simply just be 4 then while there is u we are replacing with lean x so we have lean x there to the power 3. So now let us uh, apply the, 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 the chain's rule. So we apply the chain's rule. So chain's rule states that dy dx is found by multiplying du dx and dy du. So dy dx is therefore equal to dy, du dx. So what is du dx? So du dx is, is simply just 1 over x. We found it to be 1 over x. Then we're multiplying this by dy du. So dy du is simply just going to be what? So dy du is dy du. So dy du is simply this part, which is 4. Then we have the lean of x. And let's see. So we have the lean of x in brackets to the power 3. So I'm going to change the kind of brackets there. So multiplying these two, we're going to get the value of dy dx as 4 over x lean x to the power 3. So this is what you get as the value of dy dx. Let us also find this one. So for this one, since we have two functions that are multiplying themselves, we're going to use the, uh, I mean, we're going to use the product true. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as the homework. So solve these two questions, two remaining these two remaining questions, send them to the to my WhatsApp line, and then I'll confirm whether you're correct or wrong. Okay. So I wanted to help you to solve them, but let me just give you a hint on how to solve them. Then you solve them on your own. It's important to practice. So for the first one, this one. You're using product true. You're going to say u is equal to uh, x squared, and then v is equal to lean x. So you differentiate u to find u prime. You're getting 2x. Then differentiate v to find v prime. You are getting um, 1 
over x. And then you know that the product rule states that dy dx is equal to um, v u prime plus u v prime. Just replace them there. Then you find the answer. This one, you all, you are also supposed to just differentiate this part. And then when you differentiate uh, this part using chain's rule, then you divide by the original function. Yes, so you can do it as well as also part of your homework. All right, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so by clicking the, subscri the subscription button rather. And if you have questions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. And if you want to join my WhatsApp group where I'm adding, uh, where I add all those people, I mean, rather where I put all these videos and other videos on other topics, you can just inbox me and then I'll add you to the group. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.